Hi, Hiram here. Last couple of days I've been doing a couple of videos on this NJ Chris's side burner alcohol stove. This is a stove that NJ Chris sent to me to uh, play with and do a couple of my tests with. In the last video, I got a comment from John Lord where in his comment John Lord said the pot must be higher or the burner flames must be lower on the side. So I thought maybe I'd try his comment out today, his suggestion. Now I can't make the holes lower, but what I can do is make the distance between the jets and the bottom of the pot a little bit larger by sticking an insert in like this. This will give me a distance of one inch from the jets to the bottom of the pot. It's just a, a bean can that was cut down. Put a couple of uh, slots in the bottom of it so that the alcohol will come through to the sides of the burner and I put one hole in it to make sure that pressure doesn't get built up on this and force alcohol out. Any pressure that gets built up that shouldn't be there will just come out this vent hole. Let me just put some alcohol in here. Now I'm not doing it for any certain amount of alcohol. I'm just going to put alcohol in there. And let's get this started. Now the way this was before, there was only about a half of an inch between the jets and the bottom of the pot. By putting in this insert, like I said, we'll make it up to an inch. About an inch. Some of the jets are a little bit higher or lower than others. I mean, it's not a precision job here. Uh, my water's heating up, so let's get this to a blossom. Once it's blossomed, then I'll put the insert in. Hey, there we go. We're starting up now. Come on. Now, usually on a burner like this, when you see the outside uh, jets go, they combine and then there's no longer a flame on the inside. So now I'll just take this, put that in like that, see how the flames are still coming up. So I've got two cups of water here setting at 59 degrees. And let's see where this goes. Okay, we're now at the two minute mark. The temperature is up to 176 degrees. Much faster than what it was on the last test. I think you can see that the flames are quite big. Uh, once I'm done here, I'll try to take a better picture of it so we can compare the two. I might not even make it out of this. But you can see it's a whole lot better flame. Oh, wait, got to stop talking here. See how they're going up and then across the bottom of the pot. So that's what's making this heat up so fast. Okay, let me try taking some stills here. Here we're at 210, 211. Come on. Two twelve at three thirty two. Wow. Okay, so that was much faster. Two cups of water starting at fifty nine degrees got to a boil in three minutes and 32 seconds. On the last test with just using the stove the way it is the time was seven minutes and ten seconds so close to half the time. I guess John's suggestion has some merit and it goes back to that one inch sweet spot it seems to be with jets. So all I did with this was just put a an insert in there to raise it up, raise the pot up. So like I said, it was the distance between the jets and the bottom of the pot of about very, very close to one inch. Okay. So, <laughs> I don't know, goes back to that same old one inch sweet spot. Hmm, interesting. So I think... NJ Chris for the stove. I thank John Lord for his suggestion to either raise the pot or lower the jets. In this case I raised the pot. This might be something that NJ Chris can keep in mind 
when he makes this next time is on, when he makes it lower the jets down so that there's that one inch spot. It would still give him a lot of capacity for alcohol in here, but it would give you that one inch. And I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions such as this. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.